Hello guys and today I'm going to show you the gaming performance on the Nvidia GeForce RTX 4050 on laptops. So without any further ado, let's get started. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 4050 is a new RTX entry in the mid-range segment and is Nvidia's lowest end RTX GPU out right now. It starts to come in at around $1000 on laptops and can go up depending on the other specs of the laptop. No matter what CPU you get with this GPU, the performance will most likely stay the same as the minimum configuration that I've found for RTX 4050 is a Core i7, so most configurations will have the same performance in terms of gaming at least. The GPU comes with 6GB of GDDR6 video memory, which is enough for most games today but might not be as future-proof as games are approaching higher specifications day by day. The main competition for the RTX 4050 is the RTX 3060, which offers similar performance, but the RTX 4050 comes with the latest features from Nvidia that can help performance quite a bit. The other specs here will be 16GB of RAM, and all the games are running on an NVMe SSD. The games that will be tested here will include Hogwarts Legacy, Counter-Strike 2, Resident Evil 4, and Forza Horizon 5. So with that said, let's get into the results in-game. So in conclusion, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 is a great performing graphics card for $1000. If you're looking to game at only 1080p, which most laptops you'll buy will have, then they should be capable of gaming at high settings on most games. 
even the FPS you get is great and the new DLSS features give you more FPS than the RTX 3060 graphics card in a lot of newer and high-end games. Overall, I'd actually recommend this if you can get this for a good price over the RTX 3060. So that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.